Hello MATLAB programmers! We've talked about um, simple functions so far. Today we're going to get into some more complicated functions. Not too bad though, nested functions and subfunctions. But first let's review our normal functions. So functions have a name. Um, usually it's like a verb because the function does some job and you can pass arguments into the function if you want. You can return um, or return a result, one or more results from the function if you want, but in my case, my function just does the work itself. So to call the function, I'm going to do cheers for MATLAB, and my function is expecting one input argument, one thing in parentheses. I'm going to pass in three, and uh, the function is going to run, and I'm going to get three cheers for MATLAB. It's just a simple for loop that goes from a starting value of one to whatever number you pass in. So we could have two cheers for MATLAB, or four cheers for MATLAB, or whatever. But things go uh, go wrong when I pass in a negative number. So if I say negative two cheers from MATLAB, well, nothing really happens because when our for loop tries to go from one to negative two, you can't do that. So it just skips the for loop. So I'm going to add in a little check to make sure that the number they passed in is going to work for my for loop. And I happen to already add that. I added another function, and it's a helper function. So it wouldn't really be useful in other programs. So I'm putting it in the same exact file as the cheers for MATLAB. And the function's name, the um, subfunction's name, is fixNum. So you pass in a number. It'll check to see if that number is less than zero. If it is, it's a negative number, so we can turn it into a positive number by multiplying it by negative one. And once we've got that positive number, then we'll go ahead and return that to whoever called the function. So um, with subfunctions, you can call them from the primary, uh, the host function. Uh, so I can call fixNum and I'll pass in whatever number they gave me and this function will return a result that will be a positive version of whatever the number is. So if they pass in 2, the function just returns 2. If they pass in negative 2, the function returns positive 2. So with that fix in place, I'll go ahead and try running this uh, program again, fix, uh, yeah, actually, uh, cheers for MATLAB with negative two, and we fixed the negative two, turned it into a positive two. Um, but this function that's inside of the file called cheers for MATLAB, it can't actually be called outside of that file. So if I try to call it here, undefined function. Um, with subfunctions, um, they're not going to be visible outside of the file. So you have a host function, whatever function is mentioned first, that's going to be the same as the file name, uh, the .m file. And then you can have one or more functions. They're usually helper functions, and they can be called by your host function, but they can't be called outside of this file. So that's a, a subfunction for you. Um, let's take a look at the variables and the workspace when we're inside of a subfunction. So I'm going to put a breakpoint right about here. And I'm going to run my three cheers for MATLAB program again. And this time I'll do negative three. So when I run this function, and I'm going to stop in my fix num. And if I look at the workspace, I see that all I have is the input that was passed to me from the Cheers for MATLAB program. You can also type in who's and you can see what's visible in this workspace. In this case, there's just one thing, the one variable input. That's all we can see. Um, we can't actually take a look at the start value. Um, that's defined in the primary function. That's not visible. We can't look at num. That's invisible. Um, it's in a different workspace. So the subfunction has its own workspace and we can step through it and it can only see uh, the input that was passed in and the output which is a variable that it's going to assign a value to return from that function. Okay now I'm just going to make a tiny change to this to turn this sub function into a nested function. Now I'll show you what a nested function looks like. So the nested function you have this host function encapsulating functions inside of it. So we'd have our helper functions inside. And so to do that I am going to just move the end statement that went along with the cheers for MATLAB. 
And just to make it really obvious that this is a nested function, I'm going to indent it a bit. Okay, so I'm running out of room because I've got my font set size so large, but I've got the beginning of my function right here, the ending of my function here, and encapsulated inside of my Cheers for MATLAB is my, it's now a nested function. Um, and so the main difference with the nested function and just a plain sub function is the workspace. So I'm going to put the breakpoint in again. Oh, I was still running last time. Put in my breakpoint, and I want to run the function again. So I'm going to try three cheers for MATLAB, and I'll stop in here. And if I look at the workspace with the who's command, I will actually see there are two workspaces. From the Cheers for MATLAB workspace, I can see num and I can access that variable directly. I can also see start. And then there was the workspace for the fix num uh, nested function. Input is available. Um, I can take a look at that variable. So that's the, the main difference between your nested function and just a plain sub function. Um, so given the fact that my nested function can view all the variables that are used in that the host function, I actually could rewrite this so that it doesn't take any input because we can just see the input that we're getting in from the Cheers for MATLAB. So I could change this, fix num, so that instead of being a separate variable, we can just directly use the variable that the user passed in instead of making a copy. And I'll save this and run it. And it works just fine. So I get my, my negative three is turned to a positive three and I get my three cheers for MATLAB. So that's a little bit about nested functions and sub functions.